Hello Gemini, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Gemini, uh, this is your reading for the week of May, the next week of May, that is starting from 6th of May till 12th of May. This is a general reading, check what resonates and leave what doesn't, energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Gemini, uh, we'll see what are the general messages that you need to know and what are the messages related to your love life that you need to know. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, energies might be vice versa and time is fluid, Gemini. I would appreciate if you were to hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. <clears throat> there is an extended reading for this one the link for the same is in a description box and comment section so let's get started now i'm shuffling the cards i will lay them down and then we'll see the energy <clears throat> let's get started the page of cups gemini page of cups is telling me that uh, i do feel like <laughs> it's gonna be a very flirty week um either you will find yourself flirting around with a lot of people or many people will show interest in you they will be romantically interested in you and i do see a lot of light-hearted flirting going on between you and someone okay uh, flirting is going on both ways and it's going to be a very fun-filled week, okay? A uh, lot of fun, a lot of uh, flirting. And uh, it's a very light-hearted energy everywhere, okay? I also see someone is becoming serious about you. They are thinking about asking you out on a date. They are thinking about... Uh, I mean, just to begin with, uh, they will be asking out on a date, but otherwise this person certainly has uh, some long-term intentions with you. That's what I'm getting. They're finding you very, very interesting, very interesting, very charming, very attractive. Okay. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is telling me that um, there is going to be a time when you will have to stand up for something. Okay, uh, where the situation might be like everyone is against what you are thinking or what kind of a decision that you have made and you might feel the pressure to let go of, of what your opinion is and agree with everyone else. Okay, but despite feeling the pressure, you're not going to succumb to the pressure. In fact, as you will start to gain more and more confidence, you will stand pretty strong for what you believe in, okay? So you're definitely not allowing any kind of pressure to impact you or your decision making. What is getting implied over here is you are becoming a much more stronger version of yourself. You are becoming more confident about yourself, about your thoughts. You are becoming more uh sure about a lot of things that are going around you and, and that are going within you okay there is a lot of surety and certainty in your thought process then we have the strength yes strength is telling me that okay so it might happen that you might face challenges during the start of the week but as you start facing the challenges as you start progressing you will notice that those challenges are not impacting you in any way in fact dealing with those challenges are uh, is only making you more powerful okay so uh, you might face these challenges at workplace, maybe in your work or probably uh, on domestic front with your family and etc. Et there might be certain verbal altercations. <clears throat> but I do feel like 
you might feel a bit of a stress because of the challenges that are coming towards you but this is going to happen only initially but later on as you st- as the week starts progressing you will become more and more confident about uh, dealing with the challenges and ultimately you're going to come out as a victorious person okay so this is going to be a test of your personality the next week is going to be a test of your personality in which you're going to come out as a winner and i also feel with the strength card i do feel like by the end of the week a lot more respect a lot more love admiration is coming towards you and people will start believing in you more people will start believing in your ideas more uh if you have a social media standing or if you have a social media account whether on youtube whether on instagram twitter linkedin tiktok anywhere okay instagram i do see that you will be <clears throat> uh you will be you are making a very strong presence on social media and otherwise also within your community okay a lot of uh, people will start believing in your ideas and your in your thoughts people will consider you as a as in as an inspiration or a motivation if you have people working for you if you have employees working for you they will start respecting you more they will they will blindly listen to you if they have any kind of problem they might come towards you whether personal or professional they might come towards you to consult you <clears throat> okay so you are becoming a more powerful person by the end of the week and apply this everywhere not only in your career domain but everywhere even in personal life okay you will find that you are growing more and more there is uh, your ev- uh, evolving as a person you are becoming more confident more stronger emotionally stronger person as far as your love life is concerned we have eight of cups so eight of cups is telling me uh gemini that it's time for you to walk away from something okay so now listen to me when i say it's time for you to walk away from something what do i mean over here <sighs> something that is not allowing you to explore the true potential of your love life now that can be anything that can be you are a part of a wrong relationship that can be your workaholic nature that can be your ignorance about your love life anything literally anything which is actually stopping you from exploring the true love the true potential so it's time for you to walk away so that realization is going to happen next week the realization will be like probably this is a toxic relationship i need to exit that because this relationship is not giving me anything not fulfilling my expectations it is only pulling me down it is making me unhappy for some of you it can be like i'm not taking my love life seriously okay for some of you it will be like i'm focusing too much on my work i think so i need to focus on my love life as well because it is high time i need to do that okay so for some of you it's going to be uh, of course it's going to be different things for all of you okay and it's the the realization is going to be very hard the next week okay and it's time for you to walk away from whatever is stopping you the high priestess i think so gemini you will either you're going to start feeling the presence of one of the ancestors or a loved one who has passed away uh, in last 2 to 3 years uh if someone has passed away in the recent past like in last one year like a couple of months ago a couple of weeks ago you're going to feel the presence of that person more and it is not necessary it is not going to be applicable for all of you but for some of you it can be like someone has passed away a couple of years ago that's fine the bottom line over here is there is someone who is trying to communicate with you there is someone who is trying to convey you that gemini it is time prepare yourself open yourself up to the possibilities of love and romance it is time for you to take a step forward it is time for you to take initiatives it is time for you to invite and welcome the opportunities of love okay <clears throat> so it's time for you to become 
more proactive when it comes to your love life. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Even for people who are in a relationship and if you are uh, like, if you are feeling like me and my partner are unnecessarily fighting nowadays, what should I do? This card is indicating that your ancestors want you to take an initiative for resolving these uh, whatever unnecessary things that are going on between you and your person. Okay. <clears throat> So, uh, also another message I'm getting over here, if you are facing any kind of problem in your relationship, this is applicable for people who are in the connection. Uh, if you're facing any problem in your romantic relationship, don't keep on talking much about it. Okay. If at all you want to talk about it, talk to the right kind of people. Don't, if possible, never and ever talk about your relationship issues to anyone else. Okay, be tight lipped about it. Try and solve as much as try and solve that on your own as much as possible. Okay, I mean, on your own in the sense, you can you can have a word with your partner, your partner can have a word with you. What I'm trying to say is do not invite someone external in your relationship. Okay, so only when it is extremely necessary then you can go ahead and invite a third person uh, for soliciting advice from the third person. Uh, for people who are single, again, don't keep on talking much about your love life to anyone else. There are romantic opportunities that are coming towards you. The, you uh, there are uh, the doors to love and romance are opening up for you. Okay, so there is a shift in the energy that is happening as far as love and romance is concerned. Okay, well, what happens is when you keep on talking about your love life, about your life issues, love issues to anyone else, people keep on waiting for the results. That is always, that always remains at the back of their mind. Okay, so Gemini had discussed this with me. So now let me see when Gemini is going to find uh, the partner. I mean, not in the, they, some of them, they, they probably uh, might be jealous of you or they probably might not be your well-wisher some of them are your well-wishers but still that energy remains at the back of their mind oh gemini had discussed this problem with me uh, so i mean i will be waiting till the time gemini finds their respective partner okay so you are unnecessarily you're hooking on to your love energy into someone else who did not even know anything about your love life so it kind of sometimes because of that unnecessary energy exchange, sometimes we become obligated like, oh, I have found a partner. Let me tell to this friend of mine because I had discussed my uh, love problems with this friend. So you, you unnecessarily open up a lot of things because you have developed that energetic connection with that XYZ person. So talk less when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your career talk less or don't talk at all there are plethora of other topics that you can discuss with your friends that you can discuss with your acquaintances talk about politics talk about the park talk about the gym talk about the uh, okay if at all you want to talk about casual topics you can talk about uh, girls and guys and something like that okay <sighs> don't reveal your person personal things the star card see you are also about to get a lot of name fame reputation but the person that is coming towards you that person is also a, a reputed person or probably having a good reputation name fame reputation within their community or a name fame reputation on social media okay so whoever is coming towards you this person also has a good standing You might meet this person at work or through work. All right. Okay. I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you. What action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person. <clears throat> so this is your spread, Gemini. Take care, have a great time and bye-bye.